What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna talk about five things that every software engineer should do to become better at their craft. Now, keep in mind that these five things do not constitute an exhaustive list, nor do they constitute a groundbreaking one. In other words, these are not the only five things that you need to do to become a good software engineer, and they're not particularly mind-blowing. Some of them are kind of common sense or kind of occur throughout your career naturally, but it's always beneficial to keep them in mind, to remind yourself to focus on them, and that's why I'm talking about them. So without further ado, let's jump into the first thing that you can do to become a better software engineer, and that is to familiarize yourself with all the pain points of every part of the software engineering stack including the parts of the stack that you don't typically work in. So for example, let's say that you're a front-end engineer, you want to be familiar with the pain points that back-end engineers face on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't want to be that front-end engineer who's always making unreasonable and almost obnoxious requests of the back-end. Like, hey, why aren't you returning all this data in this format, in this API endpoint? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Well, you should understand why a back-end engineer might not be able to do that, what performance constraints they might have to deal with, what complicated actions they might have to perform on their end with a database or with other things. You need to be familiar with that. Similarly, if you're a back-end engineer, you don't want to be that back-end engineer who's always telling front-end engineers, hey, you can just implement this feature. It's just a button. It's going to be trivial. Always trivializing things because you don't understand them. No, you want to be familiar with front-end pain points. And of course, this applies to every part of the stack, mobile, machine learning, whatever part of the stack that you don't work in, but that you tend to work alongside, you want to be familiar with. It'll help you become a better software engineer. It'll improve your team dynamics, your team performance. You will thank me when you do it. The second thing that you should do to become a better software engineer, and this is one of those things that kind of happens over time naturally, but it can still be good to focus on it, especially early in your career, it's to expose yourself to multiple different code bases, and especially code bases that are maintained by different engineers, different types of engineers with different styles. Because it's very easy when you get into coding and when you start working as a software engineer to become siloed to one particular code base, your main code base, and to start to be cocooned by the comfort of that code base and the familiar styles and practices in that code base. And it's only when you start to expose yourself to other code bases, to the fact that, oh, some people do it differently when they write code, that you start to really just become a more well-rounded and good software engineer. I remember when I was at Google, I worked in a code base that was almost brand new because the product that I was maintaining was a brand new product. And so our code base was really like a pleasure to work in. It was in Angular, which is not really pleasurable, but bear with me. It was Angular, TypeScript, and RxJS, which is probably going to mean something if you're a front-end engineer. But I remember like by the end of the two years, that's kind of like the main thing that I was familiar with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I started realizing like it would be helpful to see just how other people do it. Surely not everyone does Angular, TypeScript, RxJS in the ways that we do it especially. So keep that in mind, especially if you're thinking of making a career switch, a company switch, or a team switch, that might be really good because you get to expose yourself to new code bases. Now, the third thing that you should do as a software engineer to become better is to use my company Algo Expert when you're preparing for your technical interviews and to use the promo code Clem, CLEM for a discount on the platform. But of course, this one is pretty obvious, so I won't count it in my official list of five things. I'll give you another number three. My other number three thing to do as a software engineer to become better is to become very comfortable figuring things out on your own with the help of basically Google and just researching things and reading through documentation and all that. Now, this one sounds kind of obvious, but I really cannot emphasize enough how empowering of a feeling you get once you really become comfortable or once you really internalize the fact that you can solve any problem that you encounter, any error 
however unfamiliar that you encounter when you're coding, whether it's when you're setting up a dev environment or fixing you know, code in your main code base, any error, any issue, you can actually solve on your own given enough time and given the proper you know, Googling skills and, and uh, researching abilities. And although I'm a big advocate of asking for help faster rather than slower, like I think it can be better for your overall performance and your team's performance not to try to never ask for help, but I also think that there's a, a fine balance with actually like honing in on your skill of figuring things out on your own. This is something that, that comes with time and that comes with some effort where sometimes you just have to tell yourself like, I'm gonna solve this on my own. And the day that that feeling kind of clicks, that you realize like, I can do this. I can figure out anything just by Googling it. And as you become better and better at actually doing that is the day that you will become truly a much better software engineer. So the next time that you run into an issue, try to solve it by yourself, or perhaps actually the next time that you see someone whom you usually go to for help, so perhaps someone more senior or just a team member whom you usually go to for help, perhaps ask them, hey, like when you run into an issue that you don't know how to solve, what do you do? And that'll start to give you pointers for what to do yourself, and that'll help you become better at this particular part of software engineering. The fourth thing that you should do to become a better software engineer is to really internalize the fact that one of your primary responsibilities as a software engineer is to make the code that you write maintainable for other software engineers and for your future self. This is truly something that I cannot emphasize enough when you are junior, when you are starting out coding, you don't quite realize how important this maintainability factor is, but it's only when you have to maintain somebody else's code base, especially a bad code base or an old code base, or when you have to go back to code that you wrote a long time ago, like two, three, five years ago, it's only then that you really start to appreciate how important maintainable code that is readable, clean, etc. how important maintainable code is. There's a fun little joke in the programming community, which is something along the lines of always write your code as if some psychopath is going to be reading it later, someone who would want to like kill you or whatever. And the idea is you want to make the code maintainable because otherwise, you know, they're not going to be happy. The psychopath's not going to be happy. But that's really, really true. Maintainability is one of the most important aspects of writing code and general software engineering. Last but not least, the fifth thing that you should do to become better as a software engineer is to code a lot. Ultimately, coding is like any other skill. It is a practiced skill. It is a skill that you become better at with practice. And this is especially applicable to software engineers who have perhaps started to code less and less due to the direction that their career has taken them in, whether they have become more and more senior and therefore coding less, or more and more managerial, perhaps more and more product focused and therefore coding less, regardless of you know why you're coding less, you want to try to not code that much less. You want to try to keep coding. And if you're not coding less, then great, just keep at it. That doesn't necessarily mean that you should be coding day in and day out, every weekend, every night. No, not necessarily. But you want to keep that skill up to date. You don't want to become rusty. It's very easy to become rusty at programming. I've mentioned this in other videos that I've done in the past. And you just don't want that to happen to you. Or if you do become rusty, then you want to you know, quickly get that rust out of the way and you want to get back to becoming a very you know, comfortable and uh, highly performant, not rusty software engineer. So just try to code as much as you can throughout your career. Try to stay up to date, try to keep those skills sharp and you will be good to go. So that concludes my non-exhaustive, non-groundbreaking list of five things to do as a software engineer to become better. Let me know what you think about these five things in the comments below. Let me know what you would add. If you could add only one sixth thing, what would you add? I'm very curious. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter 
if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.